Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic today is breaking the revolving door syndrome. And we're talking to the pastor of the Hands of God Christian Church, uh, Pastor Kevin Walker. And of course, uh, Pastor Walker, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning. Good morning, Dr. Hay, and uh, thank you for allowing me to be here well, once again. Well, we're glad to have you here. Uh, uh, Pastor Walker, as a matter of fact, we've had you here on a number of occasions, mm -hmm. and so nothing that we will do here today uh, is, uh, should be strange to you. You All see, right. essentially, so essentially what we want you to do is to uh, give us the same basic kind of information uh, because what you uh, generally bring to us is a wake-up call. All right. And I think that if we need a wake-up call in any area today, it certainly has to do with the uh, period uh, that we deal with dealing with uh, African-American or youth incarceration. Yes. You see, and, and so we want to talk about that uh, today. But before we get into that, uh, Pastor Walker, let's have you to give us some information about uh, the, uh, your background, your education, and some of the things that were important in terms of uh, you establishing the uh, church uh, the Hands of God Christian Church, and okay. then we'll talk about uh, some of the other problems that uh, you know of. Okay, Dr. Haney, I was, uh, I was born here in Nashville, raised in Nashville. Uh, early part of my life, I lived in North Nashville. I went to the sco uh, public school systems mm -hmm. here in Nashville. Uh, I did not graduate from high school. I went to high school, but I was one of those characters mm -hmm. during the time, and I was actually thrown out of the school system, but uh, later years, I went to the Navy, and uh, Got out of the Navy, got a GED through OIC, and uh, from there I went to Tennessee State University mm -hmm. for a short period of time. All during this period of time, my early life, I was involved with drugs and crime and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. my stay in college didn't last a long time as well, and I ended up in, on drugs, uh, got incarcerated and everything, and spent about five years of my life incarcerated in the Tennessee State mm -hmm. Prison System. Uh, that's, that, and that in and of itself, and experiencing 17 years of drug addiction has led to to my passion for what I do now, mm -hmm. I began pastoring in the hands of God. I was called into ministry back in, uh, on August 24th, 1986. Mm -hmm. God uh, divinely intervened in my life and miraculously mm -hmm. delivered me from drug addiction and called me into ministry at that time. Mm -hmm. And then in 1993, I began to pastor. I began to pastor the hands of God. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was, at the time, it was a church under another name, Mount Olive Spiritual Church, and mm -hmm. we went on to change the name. And I actually founded the Hands of God Christian uh, Church mm -hmm. uh, back in 1999, of course. And, mm -hmm. and from that point on, I've been doing, uh, I've been pastoring the church, and this is where I am right now in my mm -hmm. life today mm -hmm. in terms of um, mm -hmm. my background and where I came from and who I am. Uh, my real passion is life, Dr. Haney, is to reach out mm -hmm. into where I came from and mm -hmm. to make a difference in the lives of people that are yet suffering mm -hmm. uh, in incarceration, uh, dealing with drug addiction, dealing with all manner of, of social evils and ills and, mm -hmm. and the like. Uh, therefore, the birth of the Hands of God Recovery Ministry has mm -hmm. come into play, mm -hmm. as well as the Hands of God Christian Church. And, mm -hmm. and this ministry is designed, of course, to reach out into, into life, into uh, people's lives, mm -hmm. and to actually make a difference. We're, we're trying to serve people, the, the, the economically disadvantaged, the, mm -hmm. the drug addicted, the alcoholic, the homeless, mm -hmm. uh, those that are uh, the incarcerated, those mm -hmm. who are coming out of the prison system mm -hmm. and who are looking for some solutions mm -hmm. to some of life's threatening situations mm -hmm. and problems. Because, mm -hmm. Dr. Hayne, a lot of people just don't know mm -hmm. just how much is involved in an individual, how much goes on with an individual when mm -hmm. they are released from the prison system. Mm -hmm. See, and we talk about the recidivism rate or the reincarceration rate or the recommitment rate mm -hmm. and how high it is, but, and they do all types of studies and reports on it, even the mm -hmm. Tennessee Department of Correction, they do these studies and reports, mm -hmm. but they don't indicate in these studies, the only thing they're throwing figures that this percentage goes mm -hmm. in, this percentage is stay out one year, two year, three years, mm -hmm. we got this percent, that mm -hmm. percent, the other percent. But the factors that, that involved in what causes people to, mm -hmm. to become reincarcerated? Mm -hmm. What causes people to go back and to revisit old criminal type behavior and mm -hmm. to do the same thing that got mm -hmm. them incarcerated in the first place? Mm -hmm. And that's what, uh, that's what I would like to talk about mm -hmm. today. And that's for the Hands of God Recovery Ministry has been birthed, you know, to make mm -hmm. a difference. Mm -hmm. You know, now before we have our, our first commercial break, and I think we're getting uh, nearing that uh, now, but when we come back, I want you to also indicate that uh, at one time you worked with another uh, group of uh, inmates. Yes, that, I did. That, that even though you mentioned the fact that you've been incarcerated, mm -hmm. but that since you've uh, been out, you've uh, been very, very active, excuse me, in terms of establishing uh, 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 other uh, organizations. And Absolutely. so when we come back, I want you to start off by talking 
about uh, the New Beginnings organization right. and how that. that organization came into being that will allow people to see not okay. only were you incarcerated, right. but it also will allow them to see the kind of activity that you've done in terms of going back in right. uh, to this situation sure and thing. trying to uh, bring some of those uh, individuals out because uh, and I say that because I know that uh, this is a very very important organization mm -hmm. and I know that you've put quite a bit of work in it yes. and that the Hands of God Christian Ministry right. is really a, 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 a completion of right. uh, what you are doing, uh, what you have done in reality. So when we come back uh, after this first uh, short commercial break, right. then we want you to talk about that. We'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. A question of incarceration.